What are the words a person can use to talk about someone after they're gone? They are not the same words you would use if that loved one is in the room sitting beside you. It is unfair to the people they leave behind. It is too hard on them to have that conversation with themselves. This is one of those difficult conversations I have held with myself about a brother that I admired and loved deeply. He passed away almost 10 years ago from stubbornness. He could have avoided that outcome and waited for another fate had he heeded the symptoms of his illness. I am not going to pretend or suggest he was perfect in his behavior. He was not. He was human with all the virtues and frailties awarded our species. I hope this digital story will provide enough evidence to suggest that although he was not perfect, there was something very special in his makeup that set him apart from most other people. This is a story about my brother Merle. He was a husband for 30 years, a father to three beautiful girls, and a grandfather of six. After serving four years in the Navy, he spent much of his life working in heavy construction, building large concrete structures over water. His work consisted of building such things as dams, bridges, and fish ladders. He was also one of the workers that supplied labor to the Prudhoe Bay Pipeline Project. He had a very natural, infectious personality that most people would cling to when they were introduced to him. Everyone enjoys a friendly, outgoing, extrovert at times, and Merle was an artist at making people feel comfortable in his presence. He was given the gift of having a kindred spirit and had the premonition to see if he needed a quiet conversation or some whimsical antics to help you forget the burden of the moment. He was blessed with a natural ability to think and act out clever and unique ways of lightening the everyday strains of living that life imposes on all of us. I am reminded of him every day in my thoughts and in my actions. I am happy to have the memories of him in my life. Everyone that knew him misses him dearly.